After I talk to Sadie for real quick. Yeah. I think he in prison. Yeah, they lock my boy up. They caught him. I just stop. Well, I slow down. Hey Arthur, man, you Arthur, you good? Oh no. Nah. What was going on? This nigga coughing up blood. You good? Oh no, nah, bro. What's going on? Bro, that nigga coughing too hard. Don't tell me he got. Don't tell me he got sick at Gorma. We're well, not Gorma. What? My nigga is sick, dog. Mister, are you okay? Mister, are you okay? Are you okay, Mister? Mister, you don't look so good. Let's get you to a doctor. I'm not coughing up blood. Sure, I just, just take, take my winters in my, my cousin's cover and 
Wow, bro, he got tuberculosis. Like I, like said, I said, I'm real, I'm real sorry. sorry. Yeah, <laughs> Bam, Bam, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. Let me get you a little, little bit, bit more, more energy, energy today. today. Fuck, dog. What the? Oh my fucking god! You are sick. While well, sick, you would consume. Only gain the benefit from consuming a limited amount of food. This shit. Fuck, dog. Fucking good too. That shit crazy. Damn, <coughs> man. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess Let's they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening... Years ago, maybe. Slow to clap. Oh, fuck, that shit crazy. Yeah. Here. gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Robbed the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. Yeah. So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, 
I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Karen's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left to the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. Oh, by the way, I've been hunting O'Driscoll boys. Killed two of the sons of bitches at a campsite last week. What? Yeah, seems they've drifted down this way now. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard? Ah, Mrs. Adler! It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, and Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Uh. Ah. Pull on that rope uh. and hope for the best. Ah. You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> okay. Here goes nothing. Right. Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir! We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. What you're doing? Oh, my God! Yes, heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't we'll find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. Supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? So you could say I got off lightning. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. Did you breakfast 
in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I didn't, exactly. Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrieking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but... Variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Please, this is most irregular. Well, you want to have your customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields at a chain gang. Dear God. unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control. You that know. ain't John. Best try another spot. Nope, not there. I can't believe we're doing this. That could be him. say the specifics of this job are not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <gasps> ah, there's Annisburg. Sure. Good Lord, is that... is that Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Hey, Sadie! 
take you soon enough! Looks like we made it. That'll show them. The hell is wrong with you. I only left you an hour ago. You can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Combe, the government. They got Combe O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're going to make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's going to swing. I'm going to make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> from a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a bunk, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. Okay, girl. Yeah. 
Mister, don't know how many times I tried to leave that crazy bastard, but he always came after me. I'm glad he's dead. Uh, sure. Serves me right taking the first man shines up on me. Goddamn hillbillies.
sound. Get bad news back by. Hold it right there. You stop right now. Please, please, we need the law hey, here. Stop. Oh, the Sorry. Oh, good day to this you. is a robbery. Yeah, You're getting me. robbed. Oh, God. Oh, man. No. oh, oh so, is someone there? Oh, thank you, sir. Uh, truly, thank you. It means a lot to me. Hey! Who the devil are you? Far as you're concerned, I am the devil. Now get out of here! With this cat! I said get out of here! This is an outrage! I don't quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is poor, you know? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the gendarmerie arrive! Hey, you gonna do right by this feller's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Come on, girl.
Hey there. Hey, how you doing? Sister. Hey, Calderon. Brother Dorgans and I were talking about you just the other day and hoping we would see you again. Well, how is Brother Dorkins? Oh, he's quite well. A little frustrated with the workings of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge, maybe uh, be a missionary. He's a lovely man. Sure. And how are you? Uh, never better. Are you sure? I'm quite sure, sister. You know, a long time ago, I was like you. I very much doubt that. Oh, oh, oh no, I did terrible things, awful things. And I could not stop doing terrible things because I did not believe that goodness existed. And then one day, I saw that love did exist. And ever since then, doing bad things became, well, not impossible, but ridiculous. I guess I'm just hoping for a... Dignified exit. I shall pray for you. Oh, I'm not a religious man, sister. <laughs> I'm an outlaw. <laughs> oh, what fun. Religion is just a word. Hearts are rarely pure, but equally they are rarely impure either. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. <laughs> to me, God is people and people are God, so... We must all do what we can. These people are starving. Go find them some food. Don't worry so much about your heart. The actions will lead, and the heart follows. I'll still think of you in very nasty terms, as you wish. Have you anything to spare for the poor? All right, you know what, sister? I've got some money on me right now. You can buy some food with this. Oh, you're so wonderful, Mr. Morgan. No, that ain't true. I meant wonderful, but so very frightening. Exactly. Consider your good deed done for the day. I won't subject you to any more benevolence. here to turn yourself in so I conclude your bounty hunt. May I direct you to the poster on the wall there? You going after Lindsay Waffle? I might be. Or I might just want to hang his poster up on my wall. Yeah, they're a bad lot, the Lamont Raiders. Stupid fellas won't leave good enough alone. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of private militias, you know. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of all of us. Yep. 
My brother Julio has gone missing. Okay, mister? Please. I've been bitten by a snake. I need medicine. Drink this. You need to... It'll help. Is that medicine? Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh. I owe you one, mister. Got that right. Hopefully, I could repay you some. Uh, now, I gotta get out of here. Uh, don't uh, much like it. Uh, oh, no more. Uh, Girl? Yeah.
Making a point with you. Someplace I can take you. I had a very good you give me a ride. So, where are you going? <laughs> I need to go to Valentine. Take some time to rest up. It's gonna be a long road.
Pretty nice horse you got there. I paid top dollar for this beauty. Fast as a bullet. Want to see how yours compares? I'll race you to Diablo Ridge, all right? So, what do you say? Shall we race? Hey, don't come on. What'll it be? Are we racing or not? I haven't got all day. Uh, I reckon I'll pass. I knew it. A coward can't bear to face the better race. Jesus. <sighs> this is some sick tran.
for me or was this all nasty surprise or maybe it's both maybe it is a nasty surprise even though you knew I was going to be here which is it you should think about that save yourself thinking about what's about to happen. Now, I'm not going to lie. It's not going to be nice and fun. I mean, it'll be fun for me, but it won't be nice for you. At least, no one's found it nice so far. Maybe you'll be the first. <laughs>
traveling to do. I want no part of that. That fella you were looking for? Which fella? Ugh. I'm not giving you a cell until you introduce this boy. Now put him down there. Put him down. Put him down. Fella been... <sighs> been... Well, it ain't nothing nice. A lot of folk disappeared over the past few years. This sick son of a bitch, well, he ain't right in the head. That's so. Uh, head over to the cellar of that broke-down shack on the road to the falls. See for yourself. Okay, well, come on, Eve. My name is Edmund. Edmund Lowry, Jr. And you'll remember that, my friend. I'm sure I shall. Well, you are a frightening fella. Oh, I'll behave, sir. I'll behave as expected. Well, you better. Now, I'll get you a lawyer. Don't you worry about that. You get in that cell, come as you be. Someone head up to his cabin. I uh, think he killed quite a few. Uh, oh, there's a lot of sick bastards out there. Here. Here. Here's some money for your trouble. Thank you, sir. What a man. John, please. What kind of men are you? Hmm? And not Mama's boys. Whiners. Complainers. I had a complainer once. And now west of, on the trail of Atlanta Hassey in 68. We sold his labor to the engines, and then we ate him when it got cold. And if I'll you were just you here for a drink, the bar's right over there. He like shit, which was only about right, because he was a turd of a man. God damn, turd. This is a dump. You like just in Europe. We don't want you here. This place was for real men. Men who could drink. Men who could fight. Instead, we got men who can complain. Men who like... Now I know what you're thinking. Why doesn't every barber farmers. work in a saloon? World don't need no more farmers. Farmers ain't men. They're just gardeners with too many potatoes. Too many goddamn women around here. Join them for the game. They don't buy it much. If you want to have a drink before we get started, I won't stop you.
right set of whiskers can frame a man's face like nothing else. If you're trying to impress a little someone, this here is a good first step. Sit down and we can get started. This cut'll look after itself. They say it's a statesman's choice, mutton chops. Thank you. Looks okay. That's pretty decent. Must be rich of those bounties by now, son. Hmm. Decided you can show your face here again by now, huh? Hi, darling. I'll keep a careful eye on you while you're in here, so watch yourself. All right, but you better not try nothing funny. through in a while. Have a look around. Now, let me see. Old Miss Hardshaw, the seamstress, passed away. Don't know who's gonna mend my things now.
I get all kinds of coots come in here. That's something. People have been talking about a curse in Valentine as long as I can remember. Some reckon this was Indian land once, but I ain't sure. Can I get you anything else? Look around. Thanks, partner. Pay up or we keep up. It'll cost us what you staring to get out of Move this along. brand. You borrow from the O'Driscoll boys, you pay the O'Driscoll boys. I'm just wondering right what you boys are up well, to. Yeah. That's all. Looks like you need a lesson. You want to die? Let's go, girl. 